Hello everyone, I'm Brandi Brown. I am the founder and executive director of Hype Freedom School Incorporated. And I'm also the founder of a newly established collective called Black Impact Houston. Um, I mentioned both of those because I think both of them embody exactly what it means for philanthropy. Uh, I would say I learned kind of this piece of philanthropy just born into the culture of philanthropy. Uh, when I think about philanthropy, it's not a word that we've always used, um, but I will say that it is a word or, or the practice of philanthropy have been with me my entire life. Born into um, a family from a single mother of a set of twins at a very young age. Uh, so my mother was 19 or 20 when she had us. Um, and I will say that the Black women that was in her life, um, so her sisters, her mother, uh, my grandmother, um, as well as um, just a support of family and friends really embodied what it means to really give your time, talents, and treasures and ties and testimonies to someone that's young, that's, that's really um, bringing in life, bringing life into this world. Um, and I, so I will say those Black women showed me what it means to give Black, uh, from my mother to my grandmothers to my aunts. Um, I think about how um, I, we were chosen to attend um, a high school that was in our neighborhood that wasn't sure if we were going to go. But I will tell you, I learned even while I was in high school, walking the halls um, and being actively involved in the school where I was going. So being the class vice president, um, being a drum major of the band, really being a part of the fundraising, whatever fundraisers that we had going on, really understanding what it meant to work hard every day uh, to have the best life um, as a as a black young woman. Uh, and so I will say that was my first year, a first time understanding what it means to give black. Uh, I had a teacher to tell me that you have worked really hard while you were in high school. This is what I want you to do. I want you to write a letter to the class um, officers or advisors and ask if they would sponsor your senior fees and your senior dues. And it was the first time that I learned what it meant to write. <laughs> I guess that was my first proposal ever writing. And so as executive director now, I reflect on those opportunities where um, growing up and growing into this culture of really giving Black, I think about how important it is to be a Black woman and to take that moment to give to others. And so in my everyday work, I get an opportunity to connect with college students um, where I'm able to connect with them at a crossroads in many of their professional careers and really give them that boost that they need to be successful um, as advocates for themselves and advocates for those who are underserved. Um, I also think in my professional career, how my personal life of just understanding what it means to give Black uh, really taking a moment to connect with other Black leaders and really figure out how do we work better together? How do we lead with a culture of collaboration and not a culture of competition? And so I would tell you that my motto in life is too much is given, much is required. And so honestly, I can say that giving Black really is the everyday sense of what I do and how I do it. And so understanding that if I give Black, it's not just helping Black people, but it's helping those who are around, who not only benefit from what we do as the race, but also being in a position where we can uplift each other for us and by us. So I'm honored to be chosen for um, a semifinalist of this award, and I look forward to giving Black with you and with so many others. So thank you.